In the silent scarlet deserts of Mars, a lone robot geologist is digging up secrets that could rewrite history. Secrets buried for billions of years, and maybe, just maybe, hinting at life. Meet Curiosity, NASA's tireless detective on Mars. For years it's explored Gale Crater, a dried up lake the size of Connecticut. But recently its drill hit pay dirt, organic compounds, not just traces, but a mother load of carbon chains. These molecules are the Lego blocks of life. On Earth, they form DNA forests, even your morning coffee. Finding them here? It's like uncovering a cosmic cheat code. But hold on, before you picture little green microbes, NASA's cautious. These molecules could form without life. Volcanoes, meteorites, even rocks baking underground might have made them. 0.5 billion. Years ago, Mars was wet, maybe even habitable. If life existed, Gale Crater's mudstones could have preserved its fingerprints. But did it? Online? Theories explode. Fossils. Underground microbes. Yet Curiosity's data is cryptic. Methane spikes seasonally. Complex hydrocarbons survive deadly radiation. Is something alive, stirring beneath the surface? Or is Mars just a chemical graveyard? Maybe these molecules are space rubble from ancient meteorites, a dead planet teasing us with stardust. Why does this matter? Mars is a time capsule. If its organics are biological, it means life isn't a cosmic fluke. It's a spark waiting to catch. If not, we learn how chemistry dances without biology. This is just the start. New rovers like ESA's Rosalind Franklin will dig deeper. Maybe one day a human geologist will hold the answer. Until then, we're left with questions. So what's your take? Are these molecules whispers of a lost Martian Eden? Or just geology trolling us? Drop your theory below. And remember, this isn't just about Mars, it's about us. And whether we're alone in the universe.